we've seen quite a few variants of SARS-CoV-2 with a mix of outcomes. The most current variants are Omicron's BA4 and BA5, and they're spreading fairly rapidly. Why is that happening? And what's being done about it is the topic of this week's healthcare triage. As of the date this video was shot, July 22nd, 2022, the Omicron variant BA5 was responsible for almost 78% of reported COVID cases in the United States. Omicron variants as a whole spread more easily than previous variants like Delta, and this is because they've evolved to escape our immune defenses. The coronavirus has spikes on its surface, and when you receive an mRNA COVID vaccine, your body is given the instructions to make this spike protein which is how your immune system learns to recognize and attack the virus. However, Omicron variants BA4 and BA5 have mutated such that these spikes look a little bit different, different enough that our immune systems are struggling a bit to recognize them. This has meant that not only are vaccinated and even boosted individuals experiencing higher rates of infection, so are people who may already have experienced a COVID infection only a few months ago. This does not mean that people can get reinfected on a regular basis, which seems to be a popular misconception thanks to some irresponsible news reporting. Rather, it means that if you were infected a few months ago by a different variant, the immunity you gain from that infection is unlikely to protect you so much from a reinfection with the latest variants of Omicron. Getting vaccinated is still the right move, though. Even though protection isn't as robust against these latest variants, it appears to be greater than what we're seeing in individuals who were previously infected but never vaccinated. In addition, the vaccines are still holding the line against severe disease and hospitalization. So even if these variants manage to catch up with you, your chances of getting very sick or hospitalized remain significantly lower than if you had chosen not to get vaccinated and boosted. So are we doing anything to address the decreased efficacy of our vaccines? Yes, we are. The FDA's Vaccines and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee has voted in favor of including Omicron BA4 and 5 components in the next COVID booster dose. The shots won't be available until the fall, so it's possible that other variants will arise in the meantime, but they should provide a small increase in protection against Omicron and other potential variants. Booster uptake is low in many countries, despite the fact that COVID deaths continue. The estimated COVID death toll in the United States is now over 1 million, and there are still an average of over 400 deaths per day. Worldwide, deaths have exceeded 6 million, with over 10,000 global deaths per week so far in July. Receiving boosters and making sure that all countries and people have access to them is still of critical importance. Hey, did you enjoyed this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on should you get a COVID vaccine booster? We'd appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel down below, and consider going to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help support the show even during a global pandemic. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillahome, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.